Tonight, Ohio's Democratic candidates for governor faced off in their first debate. It capped two days of primary election events at Central State University in Wilberforce. Our Mark Namick was there and breaks down their race. As expected, the friendly former mayors picked on Republican Governor Mike DeWine's record, including his support of the controversial bill seen as a bailout for First Energy, now at the center of a massive corruption scandal. HB6 is the worst and most corrupt bill in the history of the state, and it gutted clean energy standards. I will fire the public utility commissioners that Mike DeWine appointed that gave us that bill. If you look at the numbers, Michigan and Pennsylvania are eating our lunch when it comes to this good paying jobs in manufacturing because the legislators and Governor Mike DeWine decided to, inv to invest in, in old technology rather than investing in new. The two criticized DeWine for his support of gun bills, including the recent one allowing citizens to carry concealed weapons without a permit. Signing that outrageous bill, as well as stand your ground, is a stain on his soul. Whaley was a Dayton mayor in 2019 when a gunman opened fire outside a bar that killed nine. Never in my worst nightmare did I think that the thing he was going to do was to actually make it worse. Cranley said he'd lift the gas tax temporarily, noting DeWine's opposition to doing so. Absolutely. Cranley, who is the former Cincinnati mayor, said he would not eliminate qualified immunity for police officers, a shield that keeps them from being sued over civil rights violations. Whaley didn't answer. I think it is more about how police officers really interact with, with citizens. The two also have a different history on abortion rights. Is that I'm the only candidate that has been pro-choice my entire career. I was raised Catholic and started out in a different place on this issue, like Tim Ryan, like Joe Biden. They use their final arguments to again pick on the governor. For 30 years, we've had the same guys in charge at the state house. They've gotten rich and Ohio families have fallen further and further behind. This primary is about one thing, who is best to beat Mike DeWine? Governor DeWine declined to participate in this morning's Republican debate, denying himself a chance to push back on Democratic charges and defend his own record. And by skipping the event, the other Republicans in the race also declined to participate. Reporting from Central State University, I'm Mark Namick, 3 News.